Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Let me just grab your attention for one quick moment as we start today. You know, I am uh, Brooklyn Borough President Eric Adams, and I'm really happy to be joined uh, by uh, our partners in the Cut to Salt initiative that we're putting together. Uh, we're joined by my good friend, Dr. Athea Maybank. She's the Assistant Commissioner of New York City Department of Health and Mental Hygiene. Uh, Scotty Owens Leakes, President of Brooklyn Bureau uh, Economical Advisory Group. Uh, my good friend, Dr. McKenzie, President of the Provident Clinical Society. And Ms. Norma Harris, who will all be speaking in a moment. Uh, this is a, an important initiative that uh, we are really sending out the alarm across the entire borough and across the entire city. Uh, oftentimes, we don't realize the impact of salt and what salt does to us. And when we think about salt, we think about the salt and the salt shaker that we put on our food. But in actuality, uh, that's not the issue. It's the salt that comes in pre-packaged uh, items that we consume, particularly with our young people. We raise them on a diet uh, that is really over-consumed in salt, the potato chips, the, the cookies, the candy, all of these different items that we, look, we, look, we don't believe salt is coming from. Heart disease is the number one killer uh, in Brooklyn. Uh, high blood pressure is the leading cause of death and high, high heart disease and strokes. Uh, we uh, currently receive of, of these ailments based on our intake of salt. And that's why we have come together uh, to really address the issues around uh, the overconsumption of salt. And it's probably crucial that we use this venue here because oftentimes uh, many of the Brooklynites who live in the area or their place of employment, they use our front here to uh, have their lunch or to share a brief meal. And as I walk by, I notice some of the things that people are eating. And if they only realize how much salt content is in the salad. If you buy a salad with lettuce and tomatoes and cucumbers, and you're eating healthy, but then you pour on mounds and mounds of mayonnaise and salad dressing and all other items. Do you know those little cranberries that taste good? Read the back of the package and look at the sodium contents of those dried cranberries, unsweetened cranberry. They may be unsweetened, but they are not unsalted. And so what we are saying today with our partners that are here, and I just want to list some of our partners, the New York City Department of Health and Mental Hygiene, the Office of Faith Initiatives, Brooklyn Ecumenical Advisory Group, Provident Clinical Society, American Heart Association, Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, Environment of Environmental, Department of Environmental Protection. Um, they're here, I saw them on the corner with water on the go, drink water instead of soda. A Brooklyn Hospital Center, Best Eye Volunteer Ambulance Court, Lutheran Hospital, Woodhall Hospital, well Care, Salem Mission, Missionary Baptist Church, Christian Fellowship Seventh Day Adventist Church, uh, Chef Shauna Silas, Chemistry and Between Buns. And so there's a host of folks who are here and that are going to be the partners. And those of you who are here, you're gonna get an extra treat because I'm gonna do my favorite salad and you'll get an opportunity to see how well I can cook, right. you know? <laughs> But so I just want to turn over the mic to some of our partners who are here. Um, and after they speak, my partner here, um, uh, Deputy Borough President Diana Rayner, will close us out and get us started for the program. We got blood test screening, um, tips on healthy eating. This is a true way that we should utilize the plaza um, to help everyday Brooklynites and New Yorkers know how do we have a qualitative, well rounded, healthy, a lifestyle. Now look at that guy back in the back, eat feeding his child that pizza. That's all salt, man. All salt. You know what? I'm putting folks on blast. <laughs> you know? <laughs> See my friends over here with the, with the subway? 
You know, that bread is high in salt. You know, I'm not trying to make you feel bad, but, you know, we got to start talking about this. This needs to be part of our everyday conversation because what we feed to our children become their habits for the future. And salt, hypertension, high blood pressure is the silent killer. It sneaks up on you based on your continuing diet and it leads to the high incidence of having to have kidney failure, having to go and uh, have so many different uh, medical issues. And so simple things we can do in our lives can change that. Getting off the train one stop before your train stop and walking one stop. Taking the stairs instead of, instead of um, elevators. Bike share, riding to and from. Having family days when you can stroll together and walk together. Walking to and from, from church instead of the ride in the vans. We can do simple things that can change how we can live a healthy, more qualitative lifestyle. And that's the goal that we want to accomplish. So I want to call up my good friend, uh, Dr. Um, uh, Maybank. Uh, she has been a partner with Borough Hall on many different initiatives. And we can't thank her enough for what she's doing. Dr. Maybank. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here this afternoon. I want to thank the Brooklyn Borough President for drawing attention to the importance of Cut the Salt, and he did an excellent job at really breaking down what I would have broken down itself. So I'm not going to repeat that. But I also want to thank all the partners that are standing here on stage and all of our partners that are helping you know, lead these activities that we have going on. It takes a lot of time for planning, but we're very excited to be here. We know it's very, very important. And so on behalf of the Department of Health, we really want to stress that as a doctor, one of the questions that I get asked, so doc, what do I need to do to, to be healthy and prevent cancer? And I always say you eat fruits and vegetables, but no doc, really, you know, what is it that I can do? Eat fruits and vegetables. So really, there's, there's no magic answer. You know, and, and the answer is the more fruits and vegetables we have in our diet, the better it is. We're supposed to have five to 13 servings every single day, it's a lot but we can get it in and it's a slow process. And so I wanna highlight our farmer's market, that's one is um, right here on our plaza, and the importance of utilizing our farmer's markets that have local grown food. And some of our communities we know don't have access to fruits and vegetables, but most of all of our communities that have actually have access to a farmer's market. We have over 141 farmer's markets here in New York City, lots of them here in Brooklyn. And so today we're actually giving out what we call health bucks. And health bucks are $2 coupons that you can use at farmer's markets. Yes, they look, thank you. They look like this. Ooh, and they, and somebody has a free health buck, so go ahead, grab. <laughs> but that is what, it, thank you, thank you. This is what a health buck looks like. And you can take it to any farmer's market and you can give it to them. And we highly encourage you, if you get your blood pressure done today, you will get a health buck. And you, you have one? Got, very good. And you will be able to use it at the farmer's market today. Also, if you have an EBT card and you spend $5 at the, health, at the farmer's market, you will get $2 in return to spend more fruits and vegetables. That's a 40% markup. We have given out over 300,000 health bucks over the last couple of years. So we really want you to know if you're a community-based organization, you can actually purchase health bucks to give out to your constituents, or your residents, or whomever it is that you choose. But again, we encourage you, eat your fruits and vegetables. And again, it's about, as the borough president said, it's not just about the number of years that you wanna live, but it's about the quality of life that you wanna have. So we thank you um, and congratulate the whole team for putting this together today. Thank you. And next, uh, our speaker is Scotty owens Leakes, president of Brooklyn Borough Ecumenical Advisory Group. Good afternoon. Uh, you've heard all of the health information, and one of the initiatives that the health department has that we've partnered with is having faith-based organizations to bring a healthy living to the various congregations around Brooklyn, actually in the city, but Brooklyn has a very large group of faith-based organizations 
that have blood pressure screening, that have nutrition programs, that have exercise programs, uh, all of which are to help us become a healthier borough. And so my appeal to you is that if you are part of a faith-based organization and your organization has not yet partnered with us, we ask that you would reach out to the uh, Brooklyn Health Office, Department of Health Office, and find out how you can become involved with us uh, through the faith-based initiative. We are also, we do have health bucks that we are able to give out to our various congregations. And we're also able to, on a weekly basis or several times a month, do blood pressure screening. So we have many programs that we work with the health department to promote health in our communities. Enjoy the day and thanks so much. Thank you. And my good friend, Dr. McKenzie. Thank you, Borough President. Um, our sponsors and our partners, uh, thank you very much. Uh, our commissioner, um, who is visionary enough to realize that without education and commitment and connection to the community, public health could not be realized and will remain nothing more than a fleeting illusion. The Provident Clinical Society applauds all our partners, the Bar President's Office, for committing to education and action in terms of bringing Brooklyn and this city from a deplorable state of health to the realization of better health. Without your health, what else is there that you can be proud of? And uh, we are indeed proud to be a part of this initiative. We believe that education is power. We believe that Brooklynites, once empowered with information regarding salt, will do the right thing and protect their health. So we are lifelong and committed partners in this effort. And this inauguration is um, something that we are very proud of. And we're looking forward to be present with Moses Mansu, Director of the uh, Office of Minority Health, uh, Dr. Maybank, and all of the wonderful people and the wonderful resources that are available, available at the Department of Health. Please go onto the website. There is an enormous amount of resource there that we could utilize to get educated and get ourselves in better health. I thank you and uh, looking forward to seeing you again. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. And Norma Harris from CMS, a health insurance specialist. Thank you very much, Mr. Borough President. Thank you to all of our partners in Brooklyn and throughout New York City for the help that you give us. Who is CMS? CMS is the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. We are the federal agency that administers Medicare, and oversees Medicaid, the Children's Health Insurance Program, and the new marketplace, also known to many as Obamacare. We would like you to know that we really, <laughs> truly believe there's no way that you can access good health care if you don't have insurance coverage. There are many people in Brooklyn who still do not have health care coverage. Many of you are eligible for tax credits or for the marketplace through Medicaid, through the expanded Medicaid program. You need to go to your New York City Department of Health or your community-based organizations. They have information that they're willing to share with you and enroll you. Those eligible for Medicaid can enroll at any time in the year. If your children are eligible for Child Health Plus, you can enroll any time of the year. Get your health care coverage, utilize it, get your screenings, because I want you to know, if I leave you with nothing else, that we have more people on Medicare now because of disability under the age of 65 than we have ever had before. And a lot of this can be shared right back to the issue of salt in the diet, hypertension, 
heart issues and leading to chronic kidney conditions. Chronic kidney conditions eventually leads you to end-stage renal disease, which puts you on dialysis three times a week. That is not an improved quality of life. So ladies and gentlemen, while we're still able to, let us take charge of our health. Thank you for this opportunity, Mr. Borough President. Wonderful. My name is Diana Reina and I am the Deputy Borough President. As, as, and as our Borough President gets ready to put on his apron to be the chef today, to show you his favorite meal, I want to ask you, Brooklyn, who wants to age fine like wine? We're here because we want to commit with you that we're going to all join on this campaign. It's called Cut the Salt, Brooklyn, because we all need to be in it to win it. We want to be able to have a better quality of life. And that does not mean just this body. It's also our environment. We are trying to make sure we make all of us aware of our surroundings. And we have to make sure that we pledge together to cut the salt. Now, this is a campaign that's going to be in your face, whether you want it or not, putting people on blast like daddy feeding pizza, as our borough president just did. And I want to just share with you how important it is that we also commit to going and shopping for food and preparing food at home. And we have a great organization who joined us today, last minute, but so committed. It's called Brooklyn Jubilee. And Brooklyn Jubilee has a faith-based organization mission of getting people healthier in communities that don't understand or don't want to understand or are not ready to understand but need to understand that we have to live better lives. And they have prepared what would be packets. Under these tents, you will find recipes with a list of ingredients. And this one I'm holding is red lentil and seasonal vegetable stew. And this stew has been proven to be one of the favorites in the communities of Flatbush, and Brownsville because they have gone one step further to showing people how easy it is to just take the time to cook at home, to do the shopping, to be smart about what you're buying and making sure you're not over seasoning your meals because every season you use will increase flavor but it's also retaining the water in your body because of all that salt that's accumulating. And so, I want to thank all of our partners here at Borough Hall, at this plaza, all of you for accompanying us and waiting to see the moment of the hour where our Borough President not only is going to show you how to make a salad, but also his secret weapon, which is the magic bullet. So the Nutribullet is how he stays in shape. It's not just the exercise for the muscles. And it's about making sure that the greener the juice, the better and stronger he will be. And so we share this lifestyle and we want you to see how simple it is, how fast you can do this, and how it can only take a few ingredients to get you started on this campaign. Thank you again, and a round of applause to all of our partners. <laughs> Borough President Adams, take it away, Chef. <laughs> so we, got, we are going to do the BK salad. Um, where, where, where did Kevin go? I, mean, Kev, I, I was actually looking for another Kevin. Can you, I gotta rinse off these fruits. <laughs> What's up, man, you gonna, you gonna be my helper? Come on, come on, be my helper. <laughs> you know, what, what was the most challenging thing for me to stop using uh, salt is that I noticed that my taste bud craved something sweet and something that was tasteful. It's one thing for people to say, 
Well, you know, just, just eat a salad. But everyone knows, no matter how much we act like it, salads are not very tasteful. And so we have to find ways to, we have to find ways to excite our taste buds. And a mixture of different items can do that. I love, my favorite is mango. Mango is sweet and it really helps excite the salad. And let me tell you another favorite, dates. Dates do not raise your, your blood pressure. It does not raise your sugar level. And if you read and look at some of the places in the Middle East, and during you know days when people had to cross great lengths, they used to only eat dates, and dates were able to keep them nourished um, as they went through their journey. I need some water also. So the goal is. So we're going to start with dates. The goal. The goal is to start with salads. I like romaine lettuce. Put in a little romaine lettuce. Kale, kale is the magic food because of its anti antioxidant and how healthy it is. So I use kale in my salad and every morning I do a neutral bullet with, with kale. This is how I start my morning. So I put uh, kale in the neutral bullet. I take a Half a, half a banana to give it the sweet taste. I take a piece of pear. Thank you. Some pieces of spinach. A few pieces of date. Okay, you like dates? Make sure, make sure you take the seeds out. So it's good to have, um, it's to get some seedless dates. But if not, you just, uh, just pull the seeds out. And a peach. And I also like to use a handful of blueberries. Blueberries is high, all the dog berries are high in antioxidant. And I, from time to time, I'll sneak a piece of garlic in the Nutriplast, but right now we're gonna use it for the salad. Huh? Let me tell you what's interesting about dressing. I'm glad you said that. Um, our palates are very interesting. When I first started doing salads, I needed dressing. But when I, st I started weaning myself off of dressing, and now my salads are dressing free. You don't need dressing. We've trained our minds to believe that we need to taste dressing, when in fact we don't. We could be like, like this gentleman here eating an apple. When you use the right ingredients, all the dressing is doing is helping you with the diversity of taste that your palate really desires. If you use different ingredients, particularly some of these sweet ingredients with the lettuce and tomatoes and others, you'll find that there's a balance and you'll find that you no longer need dressing at all. So you want to cut the, the garlic as thin as possible. The reason you want to cut it thin and use it sparingly or not too much of it is because if you're not married, you want to have a wife one day or a husband one day and you don't want garlic on your breath. So you want to do it as loose as possible. Okay, I need for you. So my almonds go in two places. It goes into the neutral bullet. Almonds are unbelievably, they are great. And you do a combination of dates and almond, the taste is so sweet. Instead of those phony, um, uh, what do you call those mixtures that have sugar-coated dry fruit, 
If you look at the dry fruits that you're eating with all the sugar on it, you might as well just have high blood pressure because that's what you're doing to yourself. And the beauty of this salad is because our palates, our palates enjoy soft and crunchy at the same time, and that's why you want to mix the two. So, we're, go we're going to throw in our salad, okay? We're, we're going to put a little pears in there. A nice soft pear. I need for you to pull the seat out of a couple of dates for me, okay? Pull the seat out. There you go. There you go. I got my helper. What's your name? Kyrie. What is it? Kyrie. Kyrie? Kyrie. Uh, Ari. <laughs> Ari. Ari. Eric. Oh, you got the same name as me. <laughs> okay, now you want to cut. Notice what I'm doing? You want to cut the dates in small sizes so it can mix in with the taste. Because you're mixing a combination of sweet to go with the taste of the, the taste of the salad and the kale. Give me another, you gonna do another one for me? Then we wanna take our mango and do the same Give me one moment. Can we get, um, wait, I need a staffer. Can we get, we have a bunch of cups in my office. Can we get those cups or cups, whatever, so people can taste this great drink? The neutral bullets? If you don't if you don't have a neutral bullet, then what you should do is boycott buying pizza for a week and invest in a neutral bullet. Or another brand. Or another brand. Now we're not we're not selling one brand. I don't want the New York Post to say I'm pushing neutral bullet. <laughs> Apples are great if you're feeling uh, nauseated, or they're great if you if you want to, you know, just have a quick snack. Another good uh, what I add in the morning when I do a mixture, I add broccoli or high end high in um, antioxidant and instead of and instead of drinking soda you can take coconut pure, pure raw coconut pure raw coconut put it inside there's a new device that they sell that allows you to uh, get carbon inside of water so you could you could make your own sort of sodas but instead of that, you get black tea, black tea, coconut, and date, and you can mix that as well. So we're gonna put a little more lettuce, a little more kale. Now on mixtures like this, there's a little line that tells you how much water to, to put in it. I put a little less often because I like to keep the fibers. You can use water. Instead of using water, I use, um, what is that drink? It escapes me sometimes. You can use pure coconut water. Pure coconut water is excellent for you. And you can buy it in the store anywhere.
Is this is this plugged up? Is this plugged? Yes, it is. Come on, come on, come on. I need your help. Okay, this is simple to use. The same glass you mix it in is the glass that you drink it. Put it on. Turn it. Push it down. And turn it. Turn it. When you push it down, turn it down, buddy. Turn it the other way. Push it down. Push it down. Don't be afraid. It's not gonna break. Push it down. And turn it like that. There you go. Who's, who wants to be our first tester? We need a, we need a glass. Who wants to taste it? Come on, come on, come on. Now, where's the gentleman asking about the salad? Oh, we're gonna get more cups. We're gonna get more cups. Now you take, you take your mixture. It also becomes your salad dressing. Yes, you can. We need another cup, okay? They're gonna bring some, they're gonna bring some more. Uh huh? <laughs> we'll, we'll make some more. Uh, kale, spinach, banana. Apple. We're gonna we're gonna put this on our website so you'll be able to. <laughs> uh, no, but I'll make I'll make another. Now, who wants to taste the salad? <laughs> Right, 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 right. You can buy anyway. No salt, no sugar, you know, here you are, here you are. Oh, you got it. <laughs> no salt, no sugar, high, um, high in antioxidant. Uh huh. Hey, 
I, 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 can't, I can't hear you with all that music in the background. That's for you. Right. Right, right. Well we're we're open to it. The name of the game is to is to get get people involved, you know. That would be somebody you can uh huh? That's our goal. I'm, 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 I'm touching food. That's our goal. So I'm gonna make one more drink before I run off. Whoever wants to try. <laughs> oh, we don't have this. Is I already drank that. I don't want to give it after I drank that. To good health. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Eat healthy. Health is better than wealth. <laughs> uh, there's no more in there. Oh, 